So yeah, I guess we're going to be trying out the Entrepreneur today, and the Entrepreneur has a minus 25% items price, and harvesting modifications are increased by 50%, gain 25% more materials from recycling items, so I wonder if that's, that's at the recycling machine, I mean it should, and minus 100% of your materials at the start of the wave, and diamond modifications are reduced by 50%, so yeah, those two debuffs are going to be fun to deal with, and this is our card setup, so we've got, uh, Let's see now, uh, two SMGs, two Pistol 2s, and one Pistol Tier 1s. And yeah. And I think it's just business as usual. Especially with the Pistols uh, doing the uh, heavy damage that they are. Plus those Pistols also pierce. So I think I might need some pumpkins to uh, increase the piercing damage. And yeah. And that's way for completed, so let's uh, take the attack speed. And digest the lands, the landmines, the incendiary turret. And re-roll. Save the landmines for later. And re-roll. And, and now I'm broke onto a 5 and I'm gonna lose those 9 materials, so yeah. I guess the pity bank is uh, basically useless for uh, this uh, character. Let's set uh, plus 20% uh, materials that the uh, pity bank gives you, uh, reduces the minus 70% of your materials at the start of waves uh, down to minus 80%, which is still not fun. Oh well. On to A5. On to A5. And it's business as usual, so that's good. But I think I can get the DPS to be a bit higher. And, uh, get some more turrets. So, they, the turrets can just do my heavy lifting for me, which would be nice. Along with more landmines, for basically the same reason. And that's a 5 completed, and let's take some more speed, because speed is king. And you're gonna regret not having enough speed later on in this game. And let's take some more regen, because why not? And let's take the landmines. I think we're just doing uh, pistols and SMGs today. So let's just re-roll. Take the scared sausage and the SMG and the turret. Save the uh, other SMG and the, take the pistol for later. And now I'm broke onto his sits. And now I need to work on that elemental damage, which is going to be fun to do. Oh well. Welcome to his sits. And yeah, I think I might want to do uh, fuel tanks just to help increase the uh, elemental damage from the scared sausage. But hey, that's why it's completed, and let's take some more attack speed. And I guess that SMG. That. Hmm. I guess we don't have any more space for that uh, pistol uh, tier 1, so let's just combine two SMGs. And take this SMG too, take the glasses for more range, which is always a good thing. And re-roll. And let's just take the Tots of Sludge. And re-roll, save the SMG too, and the Scar. And now I'm broke on to A7. Welcome to A7. And it's business as usual. Hopefully I don't need an early uh, demise in this run. Although I shouldn't. Uh, they said being on Danger Zero, and not Danger 5. Mostly because I got a bit tired of Danger 5, to be told. And that's why 7 completed, and it's a book, so let's just take it for more damage for our turrets and the landmines that we have in. Let's take some more luck. And an SMG 2, the star, for more uh, SP. Take the other scary sausage. And, hmm, let's take the blindfold for more quick chance. And now I'm broke, let's save the crown, and move on to wave 8. Welcome to wave 8, with the two scared sausages. And yep, I think it's business as usual. Which is a good thing for us, although I think I can stand to be doing a bit more DPS. Oh well, I think we can uh, take care of that issue later on in, in this run. Especially since we don't have any other goals for this run outside of uh, just beating the Entrepreneur for the first time. Oh, A run as the Entrepreneur. You know what I mean. 
And that's the evade completed. And let's take some more elemental damage for uh, the scared sausage. Let's take some more attack speed, and that is uh, now 30%, which is good. Let's take the crown, the fuel tank, the star, and now I'm broke. On 29, and now these scary sausages do 5x3 burning damage, which is a good thing. Although I think I need to increase my range damage. Oh well, on to the Speedy Boys wave, which is this wave. And yep, business as usual. And yeah, the nice thing about the uh, Speedy Boys, while well, the weaker version is, is, that they, is that they just generally tend to pop pretty easily, like popcorn. Hmm. And that is wave 9 completed, and let's take some more elemental damage, and some more harvesting, and the other scared sausage, and now we have 3 of those, so that's a 75% chance to heal 6 by 3 with burning damage, which is good. And let's take the head injury for more damage, and let's take the landmines, and you know what, let's play around with the piggy bank. See if we actually keep uh, some of our materials, which is going to be fun to test out. So let's just re-roll. And yeah, I'm just taking the pity brain for science. And let's take the snake because of the burning spreading, which is a good thing for us anyways. Let's re-roll. Take the uh, copy and the star. Re-roll. And now I'm broke. Save the Tyler for later. And let's just move on to wave 10. Like so. And, uh, yep, business as usual. Although I uh, suppose the Scared Sausage is uh, helping out quite a bit with the EPS, so that's good. Although I think uh, I could use a bit some more snakes. So, yeah, I guess I'll find the uh, snakes as I find them. And hopefully not take any unnecessary damage like that. Because, ow! And that is a pin completed, and it's an alien ton, so let's just take that. And take this here lifesteal. And some more attack speed, and that is down 55, so that's good. So let's take the Tyler, and re-roll. Hmm. I don't think I want anything here because they all have, uh, debuffs, and I'm not using melee anyway, so let's just re-roll. Hmm. Multitaster, Thief Tiger only. There's an idea for a future run. Oh well, that's a new future. So let's just re-roll. And let's take the pumpkin, the last stock, and I suppose the scope. And re-roll, save the banner, and I guess the metal detector for later, even though that's probably gonna be a minus five damage. You know what, actually, never mind. Let's just save the SMG and move on to wave 11. Welcome to wave 11. And yep, business as usual, so that's good. For us, anyways. And that is wave 11 completed. And we get a hedgehog. So let's just recycle that one. Take the engineering. And it is this uh, SMG 3. And the pistol 3. And I suppose the ritual for the lifesteal. Actually, you know what? Let's just scratch that. And let's just reroll. Take this beanie. And, hmm. Save this mom magazine for later for more attack speed more than anything else. And we roll. And take this pistol. Save this garden. And move on to A12. It's gonna be interesting to see uh, how many materials we save as a result of the piggy bank. Which should be uh, 20%, right? And yeah, we do save some materials. So I guess that works uh, out. So I guess uh, take the Pidgey Bank as the Entrepreneur if you want to save some materials for next time. Because uh, some materials is better than no materials. And that's what you told completed. So let's take some more attack speed. And take the small magazine, the garden. And re-roll. And I'd say take the SMG 2, but we don't have it in uh, tier 2 SMGs, so let's just re-roll. Take, um, save the grinds magic to leave for later. And take the copy. Re-roll. And again. And again. And set them both on to a 13. 
And we have seven materials left. Out of what, 43? So, yeah, I think, uh, it just increases the, uh, minus 100% of your materials at the start of the wave, uh, to 80% of the materials. Anyway, so I should get some more petty banks. Oh well, those are capped at one. You know, I don't think they should be capped at one. Although, now that I think about it, uh, that might be a little bit overpowered, but eh, who cares about balance in games like this? It's single player. You're the only player in, in the game. Oh boy. So, yeah. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the whole Pity Wings being, uh, what, a, having a limit of one. And that's a 13 completed, and it's a star, so let's just take it. Take the sunglasses. And I suppose the damage. And take some more elemental damage. Take the dragon's magical leaf. Reroll. Hmm. Do I save this flamethrower for later? Nah. Let's just reroll. And take the fertilizer. And reroll. And again. And again. And now I'm out, so I can't uh, reroll again. But hopefully the grinds magic to leave uh, should come in handy. I wonder if we can get more of those. Is it especially since they're not uh cast to uh, one item only. So we should be able to find more of those, which would be uh, neat for our, both our HP life stealing region. So yeah. And that's a 14 completed, and it's a bad, so let's just take the lifesteal. Because I could always use more lifesteal, let's take the armor. Which is not cool, so that's good. So let's just reroll. And again. Take the pistol 3. And reroll. And again. Take the incendiary turret. And now I'm broke on to a 15, so yeah. Welcome to a 15. And it's just business as usual. Now with two incendiary turrets. Hopefully I can find some metal tool turrets. Which would be nice. Right, that's way 15 completed. And let's take the glasses without question. And take the Cyclops worm. And I suppose the region. And a re-roll. Let's take the bad. And let's take the dynamite. And a re-roll. Take the star. And I suppose the propeller hat for more luck. And let's just uh, take the crit chance. And re-roll. Save the recycling machine. And the tentacle. And move on to a 16. So yeah, welcome to a 16. And it's business as usual. So that's uh, good for us anyways. And that's a 16 completed. Let's decide with the white flag. Along with the alien baby. And... Hmm. Take some more elemental damage. And some more armor. And the recycling machine. And the tentacle. And re-roll. Take the sunglasses. And re-roll. Take the target grade. And the blindfold. And it re-roll. Hmm. Take the last stud for more luck. And save the tractor for later for more harvesting. And just move on to A17. Welcome to A17. And yep, business as usual. Although I think I could stand to use a bit more range damage. Hmm, maybe I should have uh, taken that flamethrower earlier. Hopefully we can find a minigun or a nuclear launcher or something along those lines. Oh well. I guess it is what it is if we uh, don't uh, manage to do that. But yeah, still business as usual uh, right now. Which I suppose is fine. Although I'd prefer the enemies to be deleted a lot faster than what they currently are being deleted. And that's why 17 completed, so let's take some more armor. I wish the something trophy showed up earlier. That would have been nice. So let's just take that, the tractor. Hmm, nothing here. I normally take the med kit, but I don't want to take the minus 10 luck debuff, so let's, let's just reroll. 
And again, take the beanie. And I'm bro, down to wave 18. Or to wave 18. And yeah. Hmm. I guess I'm not feeling the DPS uh, right now. I suppose I could uh, stand to be a bit higher. So let's just uh, pick up the things that are buffing the enemies, which is uh, not allowed on this channel. And hopefully not die. Alright, that's wave 18 completed, and it's insanity, so let's just re-roll that one. Actually, recycle that one, not re-roll. Hmm... You know what, let's take the crit chance. And that's now at 52%. And let's just, uh... Re-roll. Take the medical turret, the sunglasses, the blindfold. And now I have a crit chance of 67, so that's good. And an alien... Let's take the alien ton. Take the dangerous bunny. Reroll. You know, let's just take the Bosnian go for funsies. And now I'm broke on to a 19. And then after this, it's, it's... Well, after this one, it's the boss for this run, so that's gonna be fun. Oh boy. And yeah, it's just business as usual. Just stop around the map and... Uh, killing hordes of enemies, so yeah. But I guess that's what this uh, game is all about, really. And that's wave 19 completed, and I was checking to see if I was re recording. So let's just, uh, you know what, let's take the campfire for more elemental and some more HP. And then you had the speed to give up for that, so yeah. And let's take some more damage. Take the max HP. I take the extra summit that I wish it and. and uh, shown up earlier in, in a way, but, uh, it's completely useless now. There aren't any more, uh, ways after this one, because I'm not playing on Endless. So let's take the bat, re-roll, take the blindfold, re-roll, uh, nothing here, take the sunglasses, and nothing here, take the blindfold, nothing here, take the weird food, which has finally decided to show up. And let's just re-roll. And again. And again. And now I'm broke on to a 20, and I wish I had enough money to afford the silver bullet, but I don't. On to a 20. Alternate to the boss. And I hope I can manage to survive it. Especially since uh, I'm just uh, eating crits right now. So that's a uh, nice for our DPS. Hmm. I wish I had gotten that DPS to be higher. Oh well. No use worrying about the what ifs. I just have to worry about what I have right now. Ow. And hopefully not die. Again, with you walking right into enemies. I thought that I was supposed to be absolutely in it dodging right now. But I'm not. So let's just hang out around me. How oh, great is this one? Ow. Hmm. So let's just hang out around the medical turret and help him uh, heals. And just uh, hopefully not die. I guess seem to be some city net. And now I'm fully healed up, so let's just uh. Hopefully kill the boss. Or just survive this uh, wave. Either one works. Hmm. And we should complete the uh, wave 20. Like so. So yeah, that's a uh, run one. And we get a bowler hat, which uh, gives plus 15 luck, plus 15 harvesting, minus 5 attack speed, and minus 5 crit chance. So yeah, that was the entrepreneur, and I think I'll uh, see you in the next one, uh, whenever that one is. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more of this uh, kind of content for me. And if you want to support the channel, there's a link to my Ko-Fi, along with some Amazon affiliate links if you want to uh, copy my setup. So yeah. Anyways, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Uh, so yeah, bye.